So ladies and gentlemen, guys, welcome back to This is the Place. This is chapter 33, and when we last left off, we were on day 104, which is October 26th, Saturday. Women's clinic requires mayor's protection from pro-life activists. Study, drunk people are more attractive. Reclusive millionaire uh, bequeathed, bequeathed, fortune is a uh, city. Apparently the city hall doesn't like me right now, which is to be expected. People asking for the day off. We're on shift B right now. I don't know if there are... Yeah, there is a couple cases we were working on with shift B. Actually, three cases. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Besides that, I don't really remember anything that was going on. So, we'll just kind of have to uh, go with the flow and find out. Four, six, eight, ten, eleven on shift A. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven on shift B. So we're slowly trying to get up to uh, 24 cops total. And I have 10 detectives, which is kind of where I want to be sitting right now. Again, we're shift B, so I want to make sure all five detectives are uh, doing business. So we got the missing persons case, the homicide case, and the child molestation case. I think missing persons has been cold for two days. Which means I have to have the answer here with me and I'm just not seeing it. The homicide case is cold for one day, I think. And then the child molestation case, which is brand new. So we'll see how the day goes. Shift B is uh, pretty well rounded. We don't have any really inexperienced people, which is nice. <clears throat> what do we got? Received an anonymous tip. A swanky mansion on the edge of town is home to a luxury brothel. According to our source, the girls there are top class and the booze is excellent, but the price is just astronomical. They really need to lower them a bit. Alright, let's send uh, two squads and we'll send the paddy wagon. I don't think I want to deploy the SWAT for that, although it would pretty much 100% assure me that that's going to go smoothly. I feel like we could probably handle it. <clears throat> if they need backup, I'll send backup, obviously. Sitting at 166k. Alright, uh... I'm over here reading this in my head, not reading it aloud like I normally am. Uh, Javier leaves prison today a free man. He had previously spent 15 years on death row for the murder of his girlfriend. New evidence has extranated Fort, but some Freeburg residents uh, disagree with the new verdict. The crowd has gathered outside the walls of uh, the prison and promised to give uh, Javier... Javier? Not sure how to pronounce that. A warm welcome. Prison security can barely handle the angry crowd and the situation could easily get out of control. Very much so. Let's send uh, three squads. And the SWAT team. We're pretty light now, but, you know, we can only do so many different things, right? Found some alcohol. Let's get the Mafia to sell that. I think these guys will make it back for the extortion case. It should be fine. Four twelve A in progress. Two fifteen complete. Alright, before a major clearance sale, a dozen bikers blocked one of the entrances of the shopping center, which was crammed with people and demanded an entrance fee. Some people paid, some went to another entrance, and some were so outraged that they got out of the cars and started fighting. Jesus. Uh unfortunately I only have I was hoping to send three squads to that, but what am I doing here? Uh, I don't have enough people to cover that assault right now, unfortunately. So. That's why I was kind of hoping to get my uh, police force up. 
to 12 on each shift. <clears throat> that way I feel like we can cover uh, more ground easily. Uh, a woman called to complain about an elderly man who grabbed her on the bus. He couldn't control his drooling and he wouldn't let me go. The brute was all fingers and the way he sits at the bus stop uh, with his hand in his pocket, it's disgusting. Nice. Uh, let's send a couple officers to that one. Might even just be a false alarm. The entrance is blocked by tough looking bikers and a sizable crowd is gathered around. <clears throat> To arrest the bikers. Someone from the crowd begins to scream hysterically and attacks the biker with a knife. Uh, try to stop the man with the knife. I was really worried because that could have stampeded and got really out of hand. Uh, in the middle of a party at uh, Charlotte house uh some armed men stormed in demanded that the guests hand over all the jewelry and point out the safe security guard opened fire on the suspects and they retreated to the garage <clears throat> uh we don't know how many there are let's send two squads then just to be safe Nice. Uh, Mrs. Cazorla saw a half-naked man suffocating a young girl in a bathing suit. Interesting. <clears throat> Go check that out. Uh, three security guards with guns are set up on the garage and are preparing for the assault inside are four armed robbers who have taken an elderly woman hostage. Pull, pull the guards back and open negotiations with the robbers. The robbers want their freedom in exchange for the hostage. Well, let's, let's tell them they can go to their car and when they're out in the open, we'll move in. <clears throat> it was a risky call, but we did it. <clears throat> Uh, Mrs. Magat was looking through her peephole and saw her neighbor beating his daughter right there on the doorstep. He yelled, Bullshit! I'll shove those headphones straight up your ass. Why do you always chain the door? You make me tell you every day. Why can't we just go into the house like regular people? Send a couple officers to that one. Man was giving the girl artificial respiration after pulling her from the water. That's what I figured it was going to be. During the match, some fans in the visitors section threw a fried pig's head onto the field. Our local fans decided they'd teach them a lesson. Fight broke out and the referee was forced to stop the match. Interesting. We'll send three squads. And the paddy wagon. I'm not entirely convinced we need the SWAT on that one, so we'll leave them back. Let's see if we make any progress with our uh, cases here. We got one new frame that doesn't help me. No new frames. That's Tuesday. When the police showed up, many of the fans fled. A few dozen people remained in the sands, fighting each other to the death. Uh, plunge into the crowd with tasers at the ready. And the missing person's case is dead too. Okay, let's uh, let's take one more look at this. See if I can see anything. <clears throat> so we know that they're being evicted. So I know that this has to be right. Although nobody said that that's in that right order though.
I'm just not sure about this one. I feel like we have everything we need. But it's it's unclear what actually transpired here. What we know is that they're being evicted. And that he was at Eddie's Burgers at some point. He said the next meeting with the twins will be my last. So maybe he did have the money. We're assuming that this is him trying to borrow money. Because this was a couple of weeks ago. What are we missing here? We know that the the house was ransacked, so we know that they went looking through the house. They obviously hid the body. I have this wrong. I don't know. This one's a hard one to crack. That's all I can tell you for sure. any more clues on the homicide but we know like we're obviously missing something here because that that can't be that we got one more on the child molestation which doesn't help me because we know that's not even remotely close to what happened so i think what we'll do is we'll close the missing persons case for now and then i'll move those two into here for now. Someone at the club opened fire on the DJ because he refused to play a track they requested. The patrons of the club started to stampede and gunfight is still ongoing. Uh, send two squads. And we'll send the SWAT. Dangerous situation. I don't want to I don't want to run into that get blindsided yeah I feel like I have what I need for that missing persons case I just I can't figure out the right piecing of that puzzle so for now we'll just leave it focus our attention on other cases cool. day 105 October 27th Sunday 
Dean, Chinatown dormitory overcrowded. City Hall cuts Broadville asylum funding. Man in open field frightened to death by Scarecrow. We're still kind of iffy with City Hall. Cats ate some cream paste. It's sell by date. Uh, cream paste passed its sell by date and they had diarrhea all night. They're better now, but I'd like to spend the day with them. Can I have the day off? No. Uh, Crombie, you're killing me here. No. So we're down one, so we're at 10 now. Which is fine. Everyone here is working one case. What case is it? What case is it that I'm working with my shift A? I'll have to double check in a second here. Armed robbery. A gang of masked men armed with automatic weapons entered the bank. They fired a few shots in the air and demanded the managers open the vault. While everyone else lay in nervous silence on the floor, one of the guards drew a surface weapon, but he didn't stand a chance. A robber shot him right in the stomach. Let's send three squads in. The SWAT and the paddy wagon. Paddy wagon's not going to help here. Three squads in the SWAT. Uh, we'll ask for another officer slot and raise, of course. The double homicide, right? And I know I'm missing one slot. It's going to be of the guard trying to apprehend the weapon or take the weapon from this guy. Him killing the guard. Another armed robbery. Heavily armed gunmen attacked an armored truck. Several witnesses heard an explosion and saw robbers carrying machine guns. I don't know what's going on right now, but it's not pleasant. That's what's f for sure. I was really hoping not to uh, pay with my, like my officers' lives with that, but really didn't have any choice. Jack, we have something going down today at Atticus Tower at 119. We wouldn't want a policeman crashing the party. I think $250 should be enough for such a request. That's a pretty low bribe. Officer, Camera truck is lying on its side, smoke rising from it. Nearby is a black jeep. No plates with. Two robbers are loading with money. Drop your weapons, you're surrounded. The robbers fire as they retreat down an alley and throw a grenade towards the cops. What the hell? Head behind a patrol car. Turned out to be a smoke grenade. Meanwhile, the criminals have jumped out onto the road, jacked an old pickup truck, and they're trying to get away. Turn to the patrol car and chase the pickup. That was, uh, Jesus. That was an ordeal. Uh, Jose called the station and muttered this sad story through streaming tears. I was just trying to get to know a pretty girl and I gave her the coolest compliment in the world, but she just went crazy and beat me so bad she mangled my, uh, she mangled me and ruined my perfect face. Interesting. Uh, send a couple of the newbies. Take care of that one. Hoping to find the last piece of the puzzle to this case I'm working with shift A and then I can put it to bed. About two dozen scientists who recently lost their jobs decided to stage a protest march in the city center. The participants marched peacefully along the side of the road, but then some religious fanatics came out and started throwing stones at them, tearing their clothes and generally humiliating them. Massive brawl has broken out and several people are already injured. That's generally what happens. Uh, let's send three. And we'll send the paddy wagon as well. Girl offered a guy offered the girl a quickie and she merely slapped him across the face. Jesus. Uh, this is the 
one I was going to ignore. Uh, not sure about that suburb thing. Let's send a couple more. Uh, once again, retiree Yang Yang Hu complained to the police that a local restaurant is preparing its dish dishes incorrectly. They don't adver advertise their portions and mix up their ingredients. We've warned her a dozen times that this isn't a police matter, but she keeps calling, bothering our personnel. Let's go check that out. for the money that's not gonna go well with city hall i want to try to do that but only if i can Alright, uh, send four of them. Jack Boyd, a common acquaintance, told me that you're a reasonable man who can be relied upon for help. I need to load four luxury cars at the port, and to be very frank, they're stolen. Last time a boys got picked up, and a very big player didn't get the shipment. Uh, didn't get his shipment. This time it has to go as smoothly as possible. Cops in the driver's seat would help make that happen. A passerby noticed a suspicious black man sitting in a van next to a little white girl. I'm afraid to imagine what the monster has in store for that little angel. Uh, that doesn't sound as heinous as they're making it, but we'll send an officer to check that out. We have another massive fight, and unfortunately I'm a little understaffed, so we'll wait. Some guy tried to sneak into the doctor's office without waiting his turn. A few people who were waiting in line decided to punish the bastard, and the fight started up. Couple squads in the paddy wagon. Uh, I don't have people to send you, unfortunately, so you're on your own for that one. Sir, Klausner suddenly turned into a self-righteous uh, pussy. He started whining, saying, this is wrong, we're the police. He wasn't just fucking up the deal. He was going to arrest everybody. We had to shut him up. Well, you know, don't worry. It was all done quiet and smooth. Despite the trouble with our colleague, Mr. Cheng was very pleased. 40 grand, I will take that. Uh, the man turns out to be the girl's adoptive father. Interesting. Shift, we're shift A. One for shift A, please. There are men and women fighting along a narrow hallway and they're starting to pick up chairs. Lower the chairs. Another mass riot. These mass riots are absolutely killing me. Uh, the audience at the premiere of the rules of the game was so outraged at the French film that they broke the chairs in the hall and now they're threatening to set fire on to the cinema. The perplexed theater director locked himself in his office and called to report the incident. I can't imagine why this film so angered them. We don't have the paddy wagon, unfortunately, so let's spend the SWAT then. Just to kind of balance things out. Uh, smoke is rising from an apartment building. Residents are running out onto the street. Some are saying that suspicious foreigners live in the apartment that the explosion came from. Couple of squads of that, too. We're up to 200,000 out of our half a mil. We have... Uh, 75 days to do so. Please tell me I have another. Fuck, man. Bro, they're killing me here. I know all of these to be wrong. I know exactly every single one of these are wrong. So the fact that I can't get another frame to finish that case is driving me wild. And I just lost a bunch of people. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. <sighs> Even with the SWAT team, that's completely bullshit. <laughs> 
The apartment is filled with smoke and the walls covered in soot. In the center of the room stands a man in a dirty white coat, and around him are scattered uh, odd pieces of complicated devices. Seeing the police, the man begins to explain incoherently that he's almost finished work on his elixir of youth and he just needs a little more time. Let's arrest the man and take him to the police station. As if I lost three guys with our SWAT team deployed. Three officers with my SWAT team deployed. Like, that's that never should happen. Mr. Boyd, Kevin Paulson is here. He wants to talk. Kevin Paulson. Tell him to fuck off. Jack Boyd, super cop. Why the half a million, Jack? Why? Lana, what... what happened? Does this sum have some kind of special meaning? Lana, I don't know who told you about the half million, but it's much more complicated than you think. Oh, it's complicated, all right. It took me an hour to go over all the documents. There's even a few pictures and a lot of answers. Except for one thing. Why half a million? What documents? How did you get them? What's in them? I think you know very well what's in them, and the one who sent them is obviously a big fan of your criminal talents. He even has a cute name for you. Copcake. Remember when you told me how you're always surrounded by old men? Well, I'm the opposite. I'm surrounded by children. Nine-year-old boys. From their first day of work, they gather in the smoking lounge telling jokes about what they'll do when they loot their first million. But it's more than just innocent jokes. It's quickly becoming a reality. They themselves are surprised how quickly everything happens. They buy their own houses, they buy a car, they get promoted. The first million is soon followed by a second, a third, a fifth. Like children, they have no idea what they're getting into. But I'm not like that, Fana. I'm not like them. You're saying you're not like them because you're only stealing half a million? I only meant that... You know, that... Jack, I'm done worrying about people not taking me seriously. They'll know I mean business when my first act as public prosecutor is throwing the city's former police chief in prison. Lana, you can't just read over some papers like this and... I told you not to let him in! I'm sorry, Mr. Boyd. I tried to stop him, but you... Lana, we need to talk. Jack, you're so amazingly patient with people. After all the confusion over the past months, all the humiliations, it's really quite admirable. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm not nearly so patient. Send someone in here, now! I've been thinking, Jack. When I take your place, I'll have a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunities. For example, I could arrest you. You know it wouldn't be hard to find a reason. You obviously don't want that, right? I don't want that either. Given your reputation, arresting you would make me very unpopular. And if we both don't want that, let's find a way out. My suggestion is you retire tomorrow. And I promise I'll let you leave in peace. <laughs> 